Hi everyone. Um, as requested on the, the forum, I did some testing with terrains for the uh, physical vehicle. And uh, let me just check the the three real uh, real fast. Hmm. So who was it? Okay, Olanto. Uh, posted two uh, GIFs of uh, behaviors of the vehicle that were completely wrong. Uh, not, not the GIF, no, he was right actually, uh, the behavior of the vehicle was wrong. Uh, basically the wheels were jumping at high speed, which was caused because I had a checkbox right here that should be left unchecked. Uh, unchecking that actually solved the issue. And uh, yeah, another thing I've done was add this right here. And that actually should add more gravity to the vehicle uh, without having to change the project setting. So can see here default gravity Z is at the default value and I add more gravity which can be scaled per vehicle additional gravity factor right here and uh, here's the result now keep in mind that the speed the vehicle can go at is insane so every little bump tends to throw the vehicle in the air but uh, from what I see, this isn't actually uh, a bug, because uh, you know the vehicle is going at 170 kilometers per hour on a really uneven terrain, so I don't see any reason it wouldn't jump in the air like crazy. Uh, of course, uh, the tires collision are rock solid. Which also doesn't help, because real tiles would be uh, either softer than that or just blow up on impact. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to come up with a way to simulate that as well, so that the tiles absorb some of the impact uh, when going at high speed to prevent some of that bounciness. Because even though this is, I think fairly realistic to have the vehicle jump at such speed uh, it's not quite fun to play so it could be nice to fix that uh, as you can see transitioning between the flat BSP and the terrain doesn't cause any uh, vehicle flying in the air like it did in the GIF from uh, Olento so that was fixed uh, at the same time as the other wheel collision bug and uh, yeah so the, the whole thing is now much more stable and it could be even more stable uh, so yeah just uh, well that was a bit jumpy <laughs> oh and I ripped off the mirror sweet <laughs> But uh, yeah, just let me know what you think, and uh, if you have any solution to uh, simulate some tiles uh, not being so rock solid, that uh, could be uh, a really cool thing too. But uh, yeah, by the way, this terrain is a static mesh and not a landscape. Uh, pretty much the process of importing a landscape versus a static mesh is just as simple for me so I always prefer to import static meshes so that I can punch through uh, I can punch holes through them in my uh, modeling software so for example if I put a house on it I can punch a hole through the terrain for the basement and stuff like this which you can't really do with a landscape and so, this terrain basically only have uh, complex collisions set 
as simple so that would be parapoly collisions <coughs> and it does the tricks pretty well actually so I hope this uh, pleases you actually <laughs> I hope you're happy with that and uh, yeah, if you want even more stable vehicles at high speed on uneven terrain uh, there are still some things I could try to do but uh, I would kinda tend to leave it like that actually so yeah that was it uh, I've got some some more work to do on the vehicle masterclass before I push another update uh, you can see right there I added a, a new enum uh, enumeration type to choose between rear, front, and four-wheel drive, and that actually is working. And there are uh, quite other uh, small things like that I'd like to do. And uh, someone in a previous comments uh, stated that adding uh, force to the front wheels would uh, mess up the steering. And uh, actually, I think it's because the guy did this wrong. Now you can see all four wheels are spinning. So it is a true okay vehicle respawn. Uh, well, it, it got the job done, actually. Not in a very fancy manner, but it did get me unstuck. <laughs> uh, so what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the steering. Uh, basically what I had to do to not mess up the steering was to... Uh, just give me a minute. Throttle. Alright, so this is for the rear wheel. So I get the right vector of one of those two wheels. And then of course get the right ve vector of one of the steering wheels too. Because as they steer, the right vector has to be... Uh, updated according to that and so if you just pick up the right vector of the rear wheel while applying uh, angular and pulls to the front wheels <coughs> that uh, that's a bad idea actually so yeah if you pick the rear wheel, uh, rear wheel drive it'll only execute this for the front it'll do this and for the four wheel drive it'll execute the sequence to add angular end pulls to all four wheels. Uh, and uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. So, uh, yep, vehicle now uh, working fairly nicely on uh, landscapes, if I can call it a landscape, even though it's a static meshes. And uh, you can have some fun with uh, this little loop use it to uh, tweak the uh, additional gravity factor until it's not so easy to uh, go through this loop anymore and uh, the swing and the speed bumps are still in the folder and you can still place them on the map if you want to Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, just uh, let me know what you think of uh, the off-road driving. And if uh, you want me to do some more uh, stabilizing it, and I'll do just that, I guess. So, see you next time.